you are precariously balanced very dangerously. Um, I've decided that I want to go thrifting for the first time in, I don't even know how long, an incredibly long time. Years, probably. I'm gross. I just got off work. And, uh, my tire pressure light decided to come on. So I guess before we head into the store, I think I have my little pump in the back uh, of my trunk. So I'm going to try to figure out which tire is decided that it doesn't want to have air in it anymore. And then we'll get that filled up. And then go peruse the shelves at the Goodwill. I think I need to turn my car on, actually. So long as God is performing miracles. Give her a check see here. There we go. That'll do. We did it. Um, so I just dropped the absolute shit out of you, and now my, uh, lens is chipped on the edges, so that's fun and great. Cool, love this, good times. Tire's good, though. I didn't really find many things at the thrift store that caught my eye, uh, but these jeans, sick. And this coat, love this coat so very much. It was also just super busy in there, so I felt weird getting my camera out, so, yeah. How do people put their freaking cameras on their dash? It just doesn't fit. It doesn't stay there. It doesn't want to stay. Anyway... That was ridiculous. I was all like, let's go to Goodwill. I want to see, let's go find some deals. Uh, I didn't find deals. I found overwhelm. I found too many smells. <laughs> I did buy a jacket. I don't know how people ever like have the ability to um, film themselves when they're in a thrift store. Cause like there's just fucking people everywhere and I don't know. It's weird. Also, there's just like no shelves in the store, so there was like nowhere to go, like put my camera or anything. And I just I don't know. I felt really weird and like really uncomfortable, just like whipping out my cam for things. Obviously, I just have my phone, but like I did take a couple little videos. <laughs> that was overwhelming, and I'm really tired, and I'd like to go home now, so I'm just gonna do that. But I'm probably gonna stop and get some ice cream first before I head home because yesterday there was ice cream at the store. Okay, well yesterday itself was just like a whole thing. Because yesterday I had an eye appointment and I had, I got like my eyes dilated <laughs> and then I decided to go grocery shopping after that, which maybe wasn't the best idea. I couldn't freaking see anything and therefore <laughs> prices did not matter. And therefore I bought so many things, so much stuff that like I otherwise wouldn't have bought because if I can see the prices, I'm usually dissuaded to buy things. However, yesterday I just bought a bunch of things. Not me thinking I was going to have a vlog about like thrifting. <laughs> Womp womp. <laughs> okay. Well, thrifting yesterday may have been a bust, but you know what's never a bust? Cream of wild mushroom soup. And that's what I'm gonna be making right now. Did we just make mushroom soup at work today and I probably could have just taken a liter of that home? Most likely. Yeah, I could have done that. Didn't think of it. But I had already bought the ingredients. I already spent money on overpriced mushrooms. I went to the expensive grocery store. Now this was directly after <laughs> My eye appointment. So this is when I couldn't see anything, couldn't see prices. And I hope I got the right kinds of mushrooms and never thought to check until just now. We have shiitake mushrooms. We have portobello mushrooms. Port portobello. It says portobello. Is there a difference between portobello and portobello if it's still just like a big mushroom? Couldn't tell you. So we did it right. I got the right kind of mushrooms. So I'm using Ina Garten's Cream of Wild Mushroom Soup recipe except making it a little bit different because on hers, like she makes a stock with like mushroom stems and like onion and carrot. But I actually like the carrot in the soup because she like strains it out and then gets rid of it. But like, I want, I want that in my soup, you know, I want that in there. So I'm just going to make it a little bit different. Basically just, just leave those things in the soup. Why not? It also calls for leeks, a delicious amount of cream, butter, and of course, white wine, white wine, white wine which I think I still have a little bit of wine left over from when my mom visited. So that's probably only good for cooking now, not so much for drinking. So we'll use that up, it'll be great. I also bought myself a treat because couldn't see prices yesterday. <laughs> so when I was at the thrift store yesterday and I was putting air in my tire because, you know, it was that morning when my air pressure light was on and also my exit for work was closed and I had to take a detour and then ended up being like 10 minutes late. It was just a day. So that's the day that I also dropped my camera and now you, my beautiful lens, you are chipped on the edges. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I mean, I've been kind of thinking of getting a new, a new lens anyway, a little bit of a wider angle. 
you know, so you can get more of me in it. Not of me, but like then I don't have to be like 18 miles away from it, you know what I'm saying? But that's the plan. But lenses are expensive, so maybe it won't be for a little while. But in the meantime, you're cracked. I'm sorry about it. I chipped you. I'm sorry. Let's make some soup. <laughs> Anybody else freaked out by mushroom, like, what are these called? Ribs? They freak me out a little bit. I love them, but it also freaked me out. I don't know how to describe it. You ever have such a bad walk with your dogs that you just consider selling them? Two dogs for sale. You know what? Actually, no. They're free. They're free. If you want a dog, come get it. Come get it. <laughs> Soup was at a stage where I was like, you know, it could just take a little minute. I'll let it sit here. Very low heat, simmering, while I just take the dogs out quick for a little walk, a little jaunt. If you are the owner of a reactive dog, you probably know that sometimes when you, like the moment you step out of your house, or like before you even get their leashes on, you like can tell if it's gonna be a bad walk or not. And I was getting them leashed up and I was standing in the porch and I was like, this doesn't feel like it's gonna be a good walk. And it wasn't. And maybe, maybe I put that thought into my head right from the get-go, but I know, I think you can just kind of tell. They were just Briggs with a freaking space cadet, zero listening. You think they'd never seen a freaking dog before in their life. Like I went halfway into someone's lawn and she like was on the other side of the street, it was all okay. And then Arlo was like, I'm gonna be a gremlin. Hackles up, sounds like a freaking rabid raccoon. And then Briggs is like, oh, we're barking now. And then he's barking and he's big and he's scary and he's strong. And it's so fucking bizarre. Like, why are you barking at this random dog right now? when like, normally you can just walk past the dog just fine. Like, what is with this dog? The dog was not looking at them. The dog was not growling or barking at them, but they were just like, fuck this dog in particular. And from that moment on, the walk was just a disaster. Briggs was pulling constantly. Actually, after that, Arlo was pretty good. Briggs was not good and he's strong. And he was like, I'm gonna pull 24 seven on this walk. And it was just frustrating. And I was trying to be calm, taking a deep breath, taking a minute, just stopped, made them sit. A little bit of meditative breathing. Briggs said, fuck you, fuck this walk. I'm gonna be an asshole. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna try to run. I'm not gonna listen. And it was just bizarre because normally he's the best dog who listens all the time. If you're like, hey Briggs, heal. He'll run over to you and he'll stand and heal. It's very nice, it's great. Not this walk, I'm just angry. And I just wanna finish my soup. All we have to do is add some cream and then we can eat soup. But now I'm too hot to eat soup because that walk was so stressful. Just needed to rant and get that out. Two dogs for sale. No, sorry, they're free, free dogs. Briggs, free, Arlo, free. Come get them. I don't want them right now. Right now, they're not my dogs. We'll be friends again soon, but right now I don't wanna look at them. Anyway, um, 
I guess I'll finish the soup even though I don't want to eat it right now. Now we can finally add in the cream and finish the soup. I'm simmering just like the soup is right now. Here we go, best part. is done. Ta-da! I was inspired by, obviously, if you know, you know, Beatrice Caruso to get wooden spoons because I was like, that looks like it'd be really fun to eat things off of. And so now we own wooden spoons. Grant's very into the idea as well. Let's just decompress a little bit, you know? Briggs is over here on the couch. I apologize to him. We've made up. I think he's still a little bit mad at me. Arlo gives zero fucks. He's like, he's like, what walk? What are you talking about? We're still friends. We're cool. So now we can just sit Maybe Briggs will come over and say hi. How are you? I had to change my shirt because I was too hot and sweaty in that flannel. Let's see if there's anything cool on YouTube on. I also have a huge pile of laundry to fold. Cheers, let's taste some soup. Yeah, that's freaking good. That's good as heck. That's so good. I love keeping the onion and like the carrots in there and just pureed a little bit because it just like I don't know, it gives the soup some more texture and like a little bit more body and a bit of like a more earthy taste. You know what I mean? I love carrots. I want the carrots in my soup. That's good. <gasps> Are we friends? Yeah. Are we friends? Hi. Are we friends again or did you just want my soup? <laughs> Are we friends? Yeah. Okay, if we're friends, shake. Sorry we had a bad walk. Sorry I got angry and frustrated with you. And I know that I should have just let you play with your flirt pole first to burn off some energy because you were in a wild headspace. My friends. But you're not getting any soup, sorry. Both of my boys, we're, we've made up. We're friends again. They're not getting any soup, but they think they might be. And you know what? Tomorrow, tomorrow we'll have a new walk. And guess what? Right before lunchtime, we'll play flirt pole and fetch. We just did things a little out of order today. Okay, a bunch of factors came together to create the walk from hell with two reactive dogs. Let's move on. What should we watch while we eat our soup? Excuse me, that's my soup. Eating mushroom soup with a wooden spoon feels like I should be in like, like a, a fantasy land with like elves and stuff. And I'm in like a pub, you know, and I'm eating mushroom soup with a wooden spoon. It just feels right. It just feels good. how I ended up in a time warp and it's already like 10 after 5 which means I have to start getting ready for bed I spilled soup on my shirt I did manage to fold all the laundry though I got that done and I discovered a new YouTube channel that I really like it's called Cozy K her whole vibe is real neat real cozy obviously and it's really cool I forgot I was recording <laughs> Uh, notes of the day. Here are my thoughts of the day. Let's wrap up. What are my thoughts of the day? Number one, that soup, so good, so delicious. Worth making. If you'd like mushroom soup, give it a try. It's delicious. Make some changes. Do whatever you want. Freestyle. I'm your freestyle cooking instructor. Let's cook. Let's do some cooking. <laughs> I'm sorry. My brain just does not work right now. Um... I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I forgot that my last message to Grant earlier today was just had the worst effing walk ever with the dogs and I'm going to sell them both. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> We've made up. We're fine. We're friends again. It's all good. So I was just editing this very lackluster video and I realized I didn't even show you the coat that I bought. 
It is indeed the purple one that was in the little clip. <laughs> anyway, I was just looking for like a cozy, easy throw on, like dog walking cold weather coat. And here she is, ladies and gents. Here she is. Check this out. Mmm. Mmm. Where's the pocket? Mmm. Ooh wee. No coat. I mean, no coat. Pew. No hood. Because when I have a jacket with a hood and then I don't wear the hood, it hurts my neck. Because I'm a weird little sensitive baby like that. So there's no hood, which is great. I can just wear my little hat or little earmuffs or something. Sleeves. Such a good length. Check those out. Not too long, not too short. I just feel like a fun little starfish and I enjoy the color. It's like a purpley blue. When I brought it home, Grant was like, oh, you look like a Vikings fan. And I was like, oh shoot, I guess I kind of do, eh? But maybe that just fits for where I live, you know? Makes sense. But the inside is like this fun blue color. And there is that little tiny hole in the inside, like right by the pocket, but I'm a sewist now, you guys. I can fix that little hole. Easy peasy, no problem. Slap a cute little patch or something on there just for fun. Why not? I haven't washed the jacket yet, so there is a poo bag in the pocket still from whoever last owned this jacket, so free poo bag with the jacket. You can't complain about that. Poo bags, not cheap these days. So that's the jacket. Jacket update. Loving this bad boy. I thought the price was like a little bit steep for Goodwill, but I know I just haven't been thrifting in so long that I've heard other people and seen like on Instagram and stuff, people just talking about how thrifting has gotten so expensive lately these days. Um, but yeah, this jacket was $19.99 at a Goodwill. And I feel like when I was younger, like jackets like this were like $5, you know? I have no idea what uh, casual club famous clothing is. Never heard of this brand at all, but it's cozy, it's comfy. And I was like, I really enjoy the color. So here we go. Anyway, I just feel like a little bit weird about like thrifting. I feel like conflicted about it, I suppose, because like I can afford to buy new things, you know? It's just weird. Cause like thrifting is good for the environment and all, but it's also like originally for people who are just less fortunate, you know, and can't afford the like brand new things because stuff is stupidly expensive. And so I feel weird, Some, I guess. I guess that's maybe why I haven't gone in so long. Like I just kind of feel bad about going to a thrift store and taking something that like maybe somebody else could have needed more than me. And it's just like a whole thing. Like, I don't know, and there's all these people that are going out there and their jobs, like they've literally made it their jobs to go and buy stuff for really cheap at a thrift store and then resell it on like Depop and stuff for way more expensive. And like, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's a good thing to be doing. And I, I don't know. I think people who are like, yeah, I go to the thrift store because it's better for the environment. I think that's really just coming from a place of privilege in a way because for you, you're going there because it's better for the environment, which is cool, but there are just like so many people who actually rely on those kinds of stores and they need those lower prices to like fit things into their budget and stuff. And I don't know, I just, I'm conflicted about it. As much as I complain about <laughs> how expensive things are that are like ethically made and stuff like that and sourced and whatnot, uh, I, I don't know, maybe I would rather just spend more money on those things rather than take away from the things that somebody else might need more than I do, you know? Anyway, so that's, uh, that's that. I don't know if I'll be going thrifting anymore. <laughs> I just, I don't know, it's weird. Does anybody, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's conflicting. It's conflicting, that's all I can say. That's really just sums up how I feel about it. Other than that, I don't think I filmed any sort of outro for this video, so. Thank you so much for watching. Go make some soup. It's soup season officially. It is, I think, on the day that this video goes up. It should be October 1st. Should be spooky season, soup season, sweater season, if you were in the Northern Hemisphere. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.